Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video where today we're going to talk about how do you deal with missing data. So let's assume that you have a chart that looks similar to this. You have a function or field along the one side and something else across the top and you have a bunch of these ABCs or and you have areas where there's no data. Now this represents areas where there's no intersection between, in this case, R and D and March. Right? So we're going to bring over the ticket hours. I'm coming over here to the measures card. I'm going to click and bring it over and drop it into the pane. And now you'll see that there are hours associated with each of those fields. But we're missing some information. And we'd like those to be zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over create a field. We're going to call this zero hours. And we're going to use a function called zn. Let's see what is that total. Let's see hours, ticket hours. What this function does is it looks at this expression and if it is null it changes it to zero. So in this case think of it as zero from null function. So it's, this, this won't work, I know, but if you have the sum hours, if this turns out to be null, then we want it to return zero. So I'm just going to show you. So we're going to get rid of the, pull off the ticket hours, drop the zero hours into the pane. It's still not working. Why is that? It's because there is no intersection for Tableau to even um, evaluate. There's not even a null value in here. There's nothing. So, um, out on the Tableau forum, there is a blog about this, and I've got the information, and I'll try and put a link at the end of the this video to where you find it. So let's pull up, open the zero hours again. Let's make this a little bit bigger. What we're going to do is we're going to add another function in here, the lookup function. This is a table function, and you're saying, okay, look up this value, the sum of ticket hours, but we want to look up where it says offset, we're going to say just zero. So in that same cell, that same intersection, we want to look up the ticket hours. In this case, there's not going to be any ticket hours, there's going to be nothing, so the value is going to return null. And then the zero to zero from null function will return a zero. So let's do that. There you go, your zeros. We're going to do a similar thing with the bar chart. We've got our month along the bottom of this bar chart and the ticket hours. We've also added a category for over here off to the right, elect consumer products, electronics, or everything. So let's just quickly take a look at the consumer products and electronics. And I don't know if you noticed, but if you look down at the, the columns, right now it says January, March, May, June. Consumer products has January, March, April, May, June. So some of these months are missing. If we go to all January, March, April, well, we really want to show every month so we can see where there was no ticket hours. Come up to the pill, left click, quarter of the way down there's a field called show missing values. Click on that and now you'll see the missing February. You'll see the missing months. You can see here there's two missing months. Electronics, it's got three missing months. Okay, great. Well, we could bring over the zero hours, but that's going to still return zero, which in many cases is fine. However, let's say that we have, um, I had a client that wanted to show, uh, was showing quality percentages, and if there wasn't any defects, they wanted to show 100% quality. Well, in a situation like this, where there's no data, um, even if you show missing values, it's going to show up as zero. 
So what we wanted, she wanted it to show 100%. So let me show you what we did. We're going to come over to the left under measures. We're going to def. We're going to. I've already created this this field. All right. So here we go. Here's this the ZN again. Zero from null. Sum of ticket hours. If there's zero, if that equals zero, if this is null, and it returns a zero, then we want the default value to be five. Okay or 15, or 20, or whatever default you want to have in there. Otherwise, we're just going to just take the ticket hours. Okay, so we're going to take the hours with the default, and we're going to drop that in there. And now, every, every month is filled in. Okay, here's a little bonus information, little bonus uh, material. Maybe we want to know which of those months has a default value and which is a real value. So we've created another field. Come over here to the measures. And because this is just a logical function, so zero from null, if this value is null, it returns a zero. So if it's null, it'll be zero. If it's not null, it won't be zero and this will return false. So it's a true false. And you can see that here off to the measures, you can see the icon, it has a T and an F. So let's bring the no hours onto the color. All right? Color shows here, we automatically see a color legend over here. And as we change, consumer products had two default values, electronics had three. When you overlap them, there's only one month where, where neither category had any value. So there you go, there's one way to look at it doing the table and another way using time or bar chart. I've, I'll try and add the link to the Tableau forum post. I uh, would appreciate if you would subscribe. Love it if you leave comments. Thanks a lot. And until next time, have a good day.